Hello, this is Christian from Vision 6D and we are going to look into MS Project 2019 What's New. As you can see around me, you will see here there are a lot of things about sprints, task boards. All this is about Agile. The new version is all about Agile. So in order to see this, we'll proceed now. Here, I will request a new project. You see that we can have blank ones, sprint ones, and waterfall projects. So these are new templates that we find in MS Project 2019. But before to do that, let me go down here into account. As you can see here, my version is the 1902. Yours might be different in the future, it might evolve. And what you have to know is that I'm part of the Office Insider program. So now let's go back to that new. Now what I want to do with you is to go through one of those new ones. And I will take the Sprint project. As you see, this is something that is new. You see here up, we have the ribbon of the tasks. And one point here is the planner. The planner is the connection to that tool from Microsoft called a planner. There will be a video about this. I won't enter too much into it, but it's something which is new in 2019. Another addition is that here, if I want to add a predecessor for my task, which is called build, you will see that I have a menu that comes now here and I can choose from this menu. So for example, for me, I'm going to say that the predecessor is the plan number three. So this being done, on the side here, you see also another thing, it's task summary name column with a long list of tasks. You, you don't know anymore which is the summary task. So here it's the summary task name which is shown in this column. The timeline too has some additions. You will see here I have initiation, plan, build, test and deploy as phases in one project. So when I want to do the tracking of the project, I have selected here initiation and I want to say that it is at 75% completion. So watch here on the timeline when I click it will change the color and show where it is about. So you see, it became a darker blue like that. You will see on the timeline the evolution of the project. Now, there is another addition that I can find in the format here for the timeline. I can add, you will see here, a label for the bar. I can say that it's project HR1 and you will see now here under you have project HR1. Instead of just saying one, I could say phase one. And here you have a name. So these are the small additions to the timeline. A new introduction by MS Project is also here that smiley icon to show you that you can give feedback to the development team. So you can say that you like something or you can send thrown if you are unhappy with uh, something. So now back to the task part with the sprint. From here on, it will be the agile methodology. So if you are not too much into agile methodology or this is new, this video might sound a bit strange to you. There will be additional videos about Agile with MS Project, one going into the basic of Agile and the methodology, and other ones about Agile Project with MS Project. So that's it for you if you aren't into Agile methodology. In short, nothing else changed. A part of some icons that became a bit different, you will find your way with MS Project coming from MS Project version 2016 or even 2013. For the people who want to see about Agile, let's move into it. You will also see that since we started a sprint project, you see here 
we have a sprint tab. If I go on that sprint tab, you will see that I have a part where I can manage sprints. I can here, you can see that I can open. The sprint by default is defined with three sprints. I will just leave it as such. I will just go through those features. And you see here, I have what is called the task board. So when I do this, I can here enter a new task like initiation. We do an initiation in the project. So here I'm adding a task. I have now added some more tasks that you can see here. The purpose is not to go into the, the details. What I will do is to show you how they appear on what is called the task board sheet. This is like an Excel file. It's a table, in fact, where you see you have the sprints and you know their status, whether they have started or not. You see whether they have resources or not. So I'm going back to where I was and now we are going to plan the sprints. For this, I go into planning and you see here you find our tasks. And I will simply move the task here to create the first sprint. In my project, it's one way to do it, to say also that the first part, which is initiation, project proposal, project approval, is the first sprint. You could also realize this on the Gantt chart. This is my first sprint, and I'm going to schedule the second sprint, where I will put the user story one and user story three there. So these are tasks that are defined and I will do the last sprint just to show how I organized my sprints. So with the task four, user story five and user story six. And in the end, we'll have in the sprint three, a deployment. So this is how my program is planned for this project. So I have a sprint planning sheet where you see here each task is defined in which sprint. So this is what it is possible to do. So I go back to my planning where I have all of this. And now I can enter into the sprint. So you see that the first that is appearing, which is not started, is the sprint one in which as you can see here, I will have the project approval, I will have the project proposal and initiation. So let's admit that we start the initiation. So we can see that it's the next to be up and I can also add the project proposal on this. After a while, we can say, okay, those things are in progress. And you see that initiation is in progress, as is the project proposal is now also in progress. I can already here say that the next app will be the project approval. And now, OK, let's admit that we are done with initiation part and the project approval. And you see here that those tasks are considered as completed and you see here they are marked as such. Out of curiosity, let's go and see what happens if we take a Gantt representation of those uh, tasks. You will see that they appear here absolutely normally as Gantt tasks, and here you see that they are checkmarked. So I go back to the sprint. We continue here with our sprint view, and now we can say that project approval is in progress. And after the meeting, we say, OK, this is done. So this was the way to handle a sprint. So now I'm in the task board sheet. And now I'm going to look with you for some durations of the tasks. You see here initiation project proposal had taken about two weeks, so it's about 80 hours. So I'm going here to say that the, the first task is going to be done in 16 hours. So will I do with the other tasks? 
how to give some resources to that kind of project. So I'm coming here on add resources. Good to know that you can connect with Active Directory or an address book. And what we are going to add is a work resource. You see that you can find material resource and cost resources, which I'm not going to use in this demo. Now we are in the resource sheet. And as you can see, I created some resources. I create a product owner, a scrum master, and team members one, two, three. And to the task board, you see that the, the tasks that were done, I had added resources to them as saying that the proposal is made by the product owner and the scrum master and project approval, it's the product owner. Remembering you that uh, product owner can be a customer or it can be somebody within your own organization. In the managed sprint, I'm going to look at the sprint number two, and I see that this sprint is starting the 21st of February. So I say, okay, and I'm going to position my project at that date. So here you see I was the 19th, and I'm going to say that I moved ahead into this project and that I am the 27th of February. So now on the planning, we are going to start the sprint number two. I have advanced a bit and I have already associated, assigned some resources, which is the Scrum Master and the team member number one to plan the sprint number two. But I'm also going to add the other team members. And for this, I'm going into here, assign resources. And you see that I have all the people participating in the project. So I'm going to select team two and assign. And as well, I'm doing the same with team three. Now I can close and you see that they've been added to the task. Moving to the task board. So now I know that the next task I have to perform in sprint two is to plan the sprint two. So I can say that the next coming task is that one. As well will be the user story, user story two, user story three, and the first review. Once I have this, I need to assign resources to each of those tasks. And this is the topic of the planning of the sprint two. So I can say that this is in progress and I will assign resources. So now I have assigned resources to the different tasks. So this was the topic of the planning session. So I can say that the planning session is done, is completely done. And now the team members are starting to work on their user stories. So we do all that. After a while, they have done those things. So we will say that they are 100%. So I will move down those user stories. And we are at the moment when we are doing the first review of what was proposed by the team. So once this is done, we can say that it's complete also. With this, we've completed the second sprint. I will now go and give you an overview through reports of what we can already see from our work. And we'll go and look at what is called the burn down. And you see here that we have the remaining work, which is in orange. And here it's the remaining cumulative work. So this is one of the new reports we also have with that version of MS Project. This video was here to give you an overview of what's new in MS Project 2019. So we emphasized a lot on agile techniques and methodology, which is really the, the improvement. So I hope you appreciated it. Of course, we didn't enter all the details of those methods. And I hope to see you soon on the channel. You liked it, thumb up, and you can subscribe, and you can also comment, give me some of your inputs. Everything anyway is welcome. So see you soon.
拜。